go skate outdoor street right now and go sesh with the boys. I think everyone wants to skate the Euro Gap, so I'm gonna try to get some tricks with that. It was very, very hectic because everyone would just go and go and go. Skating that step up, I think every single person I was skating had an adrenaline rush because they were just going and going. And when someone would land a trick, they'd be like, oh, I got your back. Started warming up, everyone was just super hyped, so we all just started trying like new stuff we haven't done. And everybody was just landing and saying tricks. Oh my God. I'm trying to work on my street game. Everyone was doing tricks. Roman did that late double flip. I did my first late double flip up it. I did a big flip up it and a bigger flip. I was hyped on the bigger flip. My friend Cade, we call him Chucky. He's trying this double backside flip, so he wanted me to film it, so I'm gonna get some cool angles and get on the fence. Brandon, he is from Louisiana. He is so good, he has so much style. My buddy Brandon's been trying to double tray flip up this Euro gap. Brandon is so close to this tray double. I think he has it this try. No way! He just said no. I was so hyped. Just landed at bolts. That was insane. Like he's trying that for a good hour and a half. That's so good. I need some water. And we're heading over to the go-kart track. I've never gone go-karting, so I was super excited. I think we're gonna try to get a little race in. I swerved out and went in and just crashed into somebody. And then I guess that was my thing after that. CJ is super, super rough on the go-karts. He will do whatever he can to try to flip you. He kept bumping into everyone, and I'm just like, dude, stop, like, you're not getting past me. There's literally a huge sticker that says no bumping, and he didn't care. I think crashing into another go-kart is against the rules, but also it's so fun to do, so it's, like, hard to not do it. It was really fun, though, because, like, I don't know, I just like driving. I'm ready to get my license. I'm gonna kill it at my driver's test. They were going slow. I don't know, it was just kind of lame to watch, honestly. There's so much to do here other than whatever you came here for. So we decided to go go-karting. I'm really excited because I haven't done this in a while, and it was pretty intense. 
I was in the lead almost the whole time and I got way ahead of everyone. People were stopping to like try and cut me off, still got in front of them. I was like on beast mode and all of a sudden, I get rammed right in the back. Like this is my head. I'm not excited to see the shot of that. Suddenly I'm not in the front anymore. It was pretty depressing. Jordan, she was like crashing so much. I don't think she's gonna be able to drive. I don't even know if she knows how to drive stick because I'm like really good at that. CJ's back at camp and honestly, I would have been like happy and excited to see him if it wasn't for some of the episodes that took place. CJ has a crush on me and every time, like every chance someone gets, someone makes a CJ joke like, my nickname is Miss Collins and, oh, I just saw your boyfriend, CJ. Yeah, I saw your boyfriend. It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think Jordan's still cute. <laughs> no braces. Looks like she grew a lot taller. So, yeah. Just to set everything straight, CJ is, he is a boy, a little boy. Like, like a little boy that I would babysit. Like, oh, such a cute little boy. Not like, oh my God, what a cute boy. But I love him. I don't know. Is he just a year older now? I think I still got that shot. Just cause at least, maybe. <laughs> they look awesome together. That'd be a cute couple. Okay, he may be like, what, he's 14 now? He doesn't act like it. I found this bullhorn at the go-kart area. It makes firefighter noises, a song, you can talk in it, it's pretty rad. The megaphone, whoever put this thing in his hand, made a huge mistake. I'm being annoying with it. Having the song play over and over and over again, screaming into it, I'm good at being annoying with bullhorns. CJ's a little rascal. He's so funny and he messes with you a lot. That's just CJ. Comes up on me like, Meh. And then I seen her, I was like, Jordan! And she's like, hey! She didn't seem excited. She was like, oh, okay, hi. I'm gonna go play with my friends. She was excited, but she was like embarrassed. Jordan was crushing pretty hard on, on CJ. He is a child, he's a literal child. She was just looking at him, staring at him, it was fun. First of all, girls mature way more than guys do. So at this point in life, at this stage, not happening. It was really nice to see him though. Sunday! Sunday! Yeah, me and Jordan will be in touch. So we're at the launch pad right now. We're getting clips. At the launch pad, there's this long, probably like 15 foot flat rail. It's all like twisted and it goes down. Like it's definitely been hit because it goes straight and then it goes whoop. And it goes back. You're just like, come on. It's a really fun rail. So dumb. Finally. Everyone's skating Cloud Nine right now. We're skating in the back of the ski jumps. We're gonna try and get a pretty cool train. The ski jumps in Cloud Nine is so fun. I can't stop skating them. Oh. 
was some insane stuff that went down. Me and Keegan did back-to-back -back kickflip Indy over one. And then Sam did still fish back three. Cater was doing back threes, which is pretty sick. I'm gonna go skate the mini ramp in Cloud Nine. I like skating the mini ramp; it's a little bit bigger, so it's super fun to skate. For the sky. I'm a I'm good. So the mini mega. Oh my god, it's just really like gnarly. Whenever I think of Woodward East, I think of the mini mega. 18 foot quarter pipe, and you can do the rolling from the top, and there's like one, two, and three, and three is the biggest one. done it so looking at it I was scared. You know when I did the first roll and something clicked it just felt right. scary because like you're like hoping that you're gonna survive and hopefully land it. It's pretty fun though. I love this thing. the 360 and I got speed wobbles and I launched onto the deck. He got death wobbles and flew up, almost hit Mike and his camera and landed on the deck. It was insane. The clip is sick. Keegan flies over the quarter and he's about to crash right on top of the camera crew and I got the clip of it. Oh my god, that was so insane! Yeah. I was about to land on Mike, he moved his heavy ass camera and I just landed on the deck. I'm heading to Mini Mega right now, and my board is broken, so I'm gonna go try to skate it still. Just gonna figure it out. Trying to skate Mega with this board? Skating Mini Mega was a little sketchy because I had to keep both of my feet on the nose and tail, like straight up on the nose and tail.
I tried it again and I jumped off and my board just broke. Like all the way, just gone. I was gonna try to break it by itself, but apparently it did it by itself. Finally. That was fun. I rolled in it, switch, half cap melon to a five. Next time on season nine. My buddy Chris Chan got to camp last night and I wanted to go skate cloud nine. Pressure makes me better, I'm a diamond in the rough The struggle makes me tough My body makes you bust into lust That's the problem we